happy Motivational Monday. This is Anya Evanson coming at you from a dock in Charleston, South Carolina. Actually, Mount Pleasant. Isn't it pleasant? I have some really exciting news to share with you guys today that I've never shared with you all before. And that is actually that I broke my right hand on Thursday. I've definitely had mixed emotions about this occurrence, but I am gonna be honest with you. I'm actually more excited and thankful that this has happened than probably anything else. And that is what I'm gonna explain to you guys in this video, why and what this occurrence, how this has been significant to me. But first of all, you probably are wondering how this happened. So I was at the gym and I was actually attempting a handstand walk. So basically what that looks like is I would kick my feet up as I bring my hands down and as I attempt to walk on my hands, um, you should stay nice and upright and not break anything. But accidentally, I went down into my handstand walk and right when my hands hit the floor and my feet hit the air, I heard a big snap in my hand and my finger felt like it twisted the wrong way and I came out of that handstand walk pretty immediately. I've never broken a bone before, so I was expecting it actually to feel a lot more painful had I known that it had been broken. So I kind of looked at my hand and my finger was a little bit lopsided and I was like, okay, I think I might have dislocated a finger. That's what I thought for several hours. And in that moment, I actually continued to work out because I was like, well, I'm in the middle of a workout and I still have burpees to do and I have an assault bike to do. So I started doing my burpees and then I got on the assault bike and then it was time for the handstand walks again. And then I was like, you know, I really don't think I could do this. As time went on, I was kind of moving my fingers up and down and I could kind of hear a clicking in my hand and I was like, okay, this is not normal. So a few hours later, after a visit to the hospital and some x-rays taken, I found out that I had fractured my fourth metacarpal bone, which is literally right in the dead center of my hand. Then I was told to go see a hand surgeon the next day that I was gonna find out if I needed surgery or not. Um, but I knew that I was at least going to have an awful lot of recovery time and that I was gonna be in this brace or maybe even a cast for at least four to six weeks. Now, when this happened, Thursday was a very rough day for me. And, you know, I've told plenty of people the story already of what exactly happened, but what I wanted to share in this Motivational Monday video was kind of the behind the scenes component and my feelings and kind of what else is going on in my life right now and why this event was so significant to me. Um, that I haven't really shared with many people, but I guess now that I'm putting it out on YouTube, I'm gonna be sharing it with the world. So hope you guys can appreciate it and find value in it. But I just wanted to be transparent and... <sighs> I don't share my private life with a lot of people and I'm not gonna just open up here and, and share everything that's going on, but I am just gonna let you know that I have recently um, been going through a very tough time internally and there's been several things that I've been having to deal with in my personal life that have been very hard for me to overcome and kind of get through right now. And so really my training and my fitness and all that was really the one thing, the number one thing that I really felt like I had going for me right now and that I felt really good about and that I was happy when I was doing. And so it's, it's really amazing that <laughs> this happened right now when it happened. In the morning that it happened, I got up like normal and I went downstairs and I made my smoothie like I always do and I got out my journal. And this journal is a journal that I normally write down all of my gratitude in. So it's kind of my gratitude journal in the, mor in the morning that I start my day off with. I write down three things I'm grateful for. But on this particular morning when this happened, I actually wrote down a prayer in this journal. Instead of writing down three things I was grateful for, before I went to the gym, I just wrote a prayer and I was going to actually share that with you guys so you could kind of understand um, the extent of how I'm feeling or how I've been feeling and kind of what I'm going through without giving you too much detail. So what I wrote on 1024, 2019, God, I'm very much struggling right now. You know this and you are helping me get through it. Nonetheless, I wanted to put it down on paper. I don't want every day to feel like a million years as it goes by. Help me to find the beauty in each moment and the good in each day and hold on to those things and feelings. Take care of my heart and help it to feel strong and healthy. Wrap your warm and loving arms around me and help me to feel safe, appreciated, loved, comforted, and whole. Let all good things, people, and opportunities keep flowing into my life. I pray all of these things in your name. Amen and thank you. When I'd finished writing my journal, I got my workout clothes on and I was headed to the gym and I was honestly barely keeping it together on my way to the gym. 
I felt like I was fighting back tears um, and because that's just the kind of morning it was. And I got to the gym and you know, I started working out and I started feeling better and I was fine. And then I go and break my hand. I broke my hand. Like, I mean, right when it happened, I was like, crap, this is not good. Um, but it was really in the car on the way home that I just started crying my eyes out and I was banging on the steering wheel and I was like, God, really like with everything that i'm going through right now you just had to take my training away from me as well like this is the this was the number one thing that was making me happy right now and now i don't even have this but at the same time as i was complaining and i was crying and i was miserable i honestly had a laugh or two in there because i was like you know of course this is gonna happen of course like i know this is for a greater good of some sort and i don't think it's to make me more upset i think there's you know there's going to be learning in this and i don't see it right now and i don't know what the heck could be good that could come out of this but i know there is and sometimes it's just funny because when you think things just really can't go any worse sometimes you just have to let things completely shatter sometimes physically for some light to actually be able to shine through and as the day went on, that's kind of what I started seeing. I started seeing this light that I needed to see and that I only knew I was gonna be able to see had this happened. And so I realized in moments throughout the rest of the day that I had a decision to make. And I knew that either way, whatever I decided to feel, this was going to be a learning and growing opportunity for me. And either I could choose to be really miserable and hate whatever I was going through the entire time I was learning, in which case I probably wouldn't learn that much, honestly, or I could be very excited about what I was going to learn. So I decided to be excited. The first couple positive things that I kind of saw in the situation that I realized, okay, this is maybe a good thing, was one, this shoulder has actually been injured for a while now. It's something I injured several months ago and then I kind of re-injured it again and sure it's doing a lot better but I've never really I've kind of been rushing the healing process on that and now with this being on my right arm and I can't really do anything with this arm I am absolutely gonna have all the time in the world to let this shoulder heal secondly I would have been way more mad if this cast had been on my left hand because my left hand is my weaker side and now I have all the opportunity to just get so much better at doing everything with my left hand and strengthening my weaker side of my body so you know, it's a challenge that's just keeping my mind spinning and I'm having to physically learn new things and that's a kind of exciting. And then lastly, you know, I work at a gym and I coach and I see people come in with injuries all the time. And I didn't even realize this was gonna be such a positive until I actually started working out the next day. I'm doing everything on this arm and everything that I could with my lower body. But I, you know, I see people come into my gym with injuries all the time and a lot of people are very unhappy about that and feel like a burden because we have to modify things for them in class, which I always tell them like, don't worry about it, you know, it's fine. Um, but you know, people come in with, with kind of a negative spirit about them because they know they're injured and because they know they're limited. But you know, now I, I got to set the example and I get to set the example of just doing what you can with what you have and, and just being thankful for being able to work out at all. Like that's honestly how I felt the next day. Like I came to class and I just did everything on my left arm instead of both arms. And you know, people came up to me afterwards and said they were very inspired by me for this and that. And it was just nice to be able to kind of set that example. And I'm looking forward to setting that example more just here talking about it and also just in the gym environment because it truly is a blessing just to even feel like I can do things on my left side now, which, you know, we just take for granted every day coming in with two arms and two legs that are functioning normally. And we don't really realize that, hey, this is an amazing thing that I can use my body in this way. And um, I'm just so appreciative of even the little things that I can do right now. And lastly, the biggest thing that I've kind of realized right now, and I know I'm gonna learn so much more as I go through this time of healing, but just one of the biggest things that I'm, I'm blessed to feel right now is that, you know, going through this and when it happened, it's just made me realize that for fitness being such a huge component of my life and training and being the, you know, being the best that I can be at fitness and just going all out and going super hard every day and making fitness, you know, number one priority. It's just, it's just shown me that those types of things, those tangible things that you do every single day that you feel like identify you, they aren't you. And those things can be taken away in the blink of an eye. And that's kind of what happened here. And I know that there's so many people out there that experience the same things. And I think that those things, that these things happen because they are there to show us and to just remind us that, hey, you are bigger than this. 
whatever physical things, you know, talents, you know, those are gifts that you have to give to the world, but they aren't what define you. And I'm not going to let this define me. So if you're struggling with something similar right now, I just want to encourage you that all of us go through it, you know, in some way or another. And, and some people maybe are able to last their whole lives doing this thing and, and not having it be taken away from them. But I can guarantee that you're going to run into some sort of stumbling block or something that doesn't go your way. And you're just going to need to, to look at the bigger picture and realize that it is not the end of the world because who you are is much, much, much greater than what you are doing and what you are. It's who you are inside. This sounds really cliche and cheesy right now, but I'm sorry. Um, this is just kind of what's been going on in my head. So moral of the story is I know good things are coming from this and they already have. And honestly, I feel already truthfully a hundred times better since this happened than I have in the last several weeks. I actually feel more at peace and more happy within myself because of this than I have before it happened. And I've gotten so much love and support and encouragement from all those people that, that know me and you know everybody at the gym. And it was exactly the kind of the love and support and just warmth that I prayed for in my journal the morning this happened. You know, I asked God for a break and this was not really the break that I was expecting to get, but <laughs> That's how God works, you know, that's how the universe works. And oftentimes our trials that we go through are just blessings in disguise. And I really think all trials are like that. And we just have to see them as such and we have to see the light in the situation. So that's part one of my broken hand story. I hope that you guys got some value from this video and there might be a part two, maybe some videos of how I'm actually able to work out right now with one arm and just the things that I'm doing. Cause I've already done some really cool stuff that, you know, I never would have done if I had both my arms. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really appreciate you. Hope that you have a fantastic week. Stay encouraged, stay motivated, count your blessings, and just know that you are more than what you do. You are more than everything tangible and everything external, and who you are inside is, is beautiful, and just remember that. Thank you again for watching. I'll see you next Monday. Peace. 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 Peace.